Hi everyone, welcome back. So today, I'm gonna to demonstrate an exercise that I find will help so many people and it's helping my clients that I wanna share with you. And it's actually so important, you'll see why, uh, that it's in my, say, top five arsenals, all right? So I'm just gonna share with you today. It's called the Infinity Walk, Jog, or Crawling. And just a little bit of backstory, I talk about the four diaphragm a lot. So when you're trying to get strong, you may have heard the core. I want to strengthen my core for Pilates and, and uh, strength training and, and um, uh, I need my core for CrossFit. Now, the core, many people will assume, is like abs or six pack and your back muscles, right? But however, your core is throughout your whole body. There's small key muscles that need to turn on uh, at all times so then your joints and muscle works together in harmony. That is what protects your muscle joint even regardless of arthritis, torn muscles, so many nasty things that you might have heard that someone has told that you might have. So there's cerebral core training. Brace this, tighten this, and then pull, push, lift, whatever it is. Now, I don't know about you, but life is chaotic. At any moment, you can have an earthquake, someone can bump you, uh, car accidents, and that's unpredictable. So I like to train you like a joke around, like how Bruce Lee would move more agile, more reflexive. So I call this reflexive neuromuscular control. And so there's four diaphragms in your body. Basically, those are, it's just another word that says, uh, it's always on, and so you want to tap to that. And so if it's on and healthy, then you're always going to be protected. First one is your diaphragm, your actual diaphragm here, because you're breathing at all times, regardless whether you're aware of the situation or not. Your pelvic floor is another one. It helps you to make sure you don't leak. And, and if you've had kids, then and if your pelvic floor is weak and you leak at times when you cough, sneeze, jump, run, then you might want to go see a pelvic women's health specialist, even if you're a male, because that's their expertise um, specifically for that. And I just piece it all together. So anyway, so your pelvic floor is another one. So then, because that's always on. Now, the other two a lot of people don't know is your jaw and higher region. So that's connected to your tongue, causing facial expressions, and because you're always talking, making expressions, and your, your tongue is always moving um, to help move saliva and eating, mastication. So that's always on. So that one's very important to connect your whole body together. The last one is something we always talk about, the sphenobaser region, the sphenoid. And the reason why that's so important is because that connects to your pelvis, but not just that, uh, that's where your eye nerves goes on, all right? And so your eyes are always on to sense your environment. So that's always on. And so your eyes are always on, your tongue is always on, your diaphragm breathing muscle is always on, your pelvic floor is always on. So we gotta connect the dots. So infinity walk, my version is, now you wanna breathe down, diaphragmatic breathe, down towards your pelvic floor, inflate all the way down below your belly button where you feel like fullness towards your low back and your below your navel. Keep that. Then from there, you want to look straight ahead, right? So now you're tapping to something called a VOR, fancy word for we're training your body inner ear, your ability to sense what's happening with your eyes. And that one, uh, as you age, gets weaker because we don't train it at all. And so people think uh, they fall, they get dizzy, clumsy, but actually it's just that. So we're training that. So your eyes, we're, we're keeping this mindfulness, keep being mindful of this, and then your tongue on the roof and mouth. Got it? So we tap into all four uh, diaphragms, then you go. And so, uh, because there's not a lot of room, I'm gonna have to look a little bit, but usually there's a bigger room right here for my clients to do it. You're, I'm looking straight at the camera the whole time, and you notice my head is moving around my body. Okay, so you have neck tension. This is very helpful in restoring that neck mobility. You see how my hip has to move in and out and twist and turn and cross. And, and that's also therapeutic, relaxing any unwanted hip tension, back tension, knee, ankle, while keeping my eye fixated here, training my eye so that it, 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 it doesn't degrade and cause havoc through our body, causing unwanted tension, which I talk about all the time too. So that's the brain, gut, body, holistic approach. And so as you can see, many things are going on, um, but we incorporate all holistic approach and getting you better, mobile, active, naturally, without painkillers, surgery, and uh, see you next video. Bye.